Well, you may think of maple syrup as a fall flavor. We saw a few weeks ago at the Nine Nature Center that sap and maple syrup that's flowing right now. Right, so that kind of got me thinking about maybe a maple syrup cocktail. And it turns out Parlor Bar in Minneapolis's North Loop neighborhood has had one on the menu almost since the very beginning. It's because it tastes equally good in warm weather and cold weather. The Kentucky Sun is Mike's Mix this week. Barman Jesse Held makes a pilgrimage to Kentucky, whiskey country, every year to quench his bourbon knowledge. Maker's Mark, Basil Hayden, Jim Beam, Knob Creek, I mean, all these great bourbons. That's where inspiration hit to put a more traditional whiskey drink on the menu at the brand new parlor bar. So instead of doing just regular, you know, lemon, simple syrup bourbon as a sour would be, I replace the sugar with something a bit more hearty, a little more rich. That sweetener is a complex and caramelly combination of brown sugar and gray bee maple syrup. You can make it at home, even using sap from your own maple trees, if you're willing. But there's also a way to take the guesswork out of it. People are wanting more, um, more elevated things for their home bar. Um, we've let the professionals who make this every day for our home bars and make them for, for everybody else. Jesse teamed up with chef and friend Jeff Urkula to bottle craft quality cocktail cordials, ginger beer, and syrups, like Parlor's Maple Brown Syrup. And with his skill set of, of being in the kitchen, I just thought that's just a natural thing. You come out behind the bar, we still cook behind the bar, but it's with liquid, not solid. The products will be sold online beginning in just the next few weeks under the name Earl Giles. Uh, who? Earl Giles is a, uh, it's, it's, it's a combination of a couple things. Uh, my middle name is Earl, Jeff Urkel's middle name is Giles. Um, we combined the two names. Your two middle names make a much classier person than either of you two <laughs> combined. I believe that. <laughs> I, I, don't, uh, I don't disagree with you. To make the cocktail, the Kentucky Sun combined equal parts of the Earl Giles lemon cordial, Earl Giles maple brown syrup, fresh lemon juice, and Capoletti, one of the bitter Italian liqueurs. We want to keep it, kind of treat it as if it was a vermouth, keep it cold. That rich elixir offsets two ounces of your favorite sipping bourbon, not rye. It has a lot of rigidity to it and, and has a lot more spiciness to it. Bourbon has a nice roundness to it. All of the ingredients get shaken over ice, strained into a stemmed glass, and garnished with an expressed lemon peel. It's a drink where you can barely taste the bourbon. And you get the sort of more complex, deeper, kind of caramelly flavors sort of toward the tail end as well. And then that nice, like, the, the nice lemon notes of it kind of yeah. make the flavors pop and make it not as heavy as it would appear to be. And it does still, you can still drink that drink in the summertime as well as the fall. Great presentation on that beverage, too. Yeah, if uh, if you want to make that uh, beverage at home, the Kentucky Sun, uh, you can go to WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix for the recipe. Also, we've got a link to Earl Giles, that uh, liqueur and cordial company that Jesse's starting right. up. And one last note, today, every parlor old-fashioned that's sold at Burrow, Parlor, Manello, Constantine, and Coup all part of the same restaurant group. A dollar from that will go to benefit the Minnesota Food Share, something that we're involved with here at CCO and something that uh, Jester Concepts is involved with as well. What a great idea. Yeah. Very nice.